Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to quickly add emojis to your emails in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. Smileys or emojis can be really good to bring fun or humor to your emails and they're super quick to add in Gmail. Let's start by opening a new email. We can do this by clicking on the large compose button in the top left of the Gmail inbox. A blank window opens in the corner of Gmail. Emojis can be found in the toolbar at the bottom of the email compose page next to the send button. If I move my mouse to that, you'll see a number of options. But the one we're interested in here is the smiley face. If I hover over that icon, you'll see it gives you the option to insert emoji. Let's click on that once and you'll see an option box opens. There are hundreds of emojis you can choose from, not just smiley faces. And if I click across the top bar of this insert box, you'll see that the emojis are already categorized into faces, objects, nature, transportation, and symbols. If you're not sure which emoji to use, you can always click into the search icon at the top of the insert box and just type what you want to do. Gmail will then show some options and to choose which one you want, just click on it once. You can of course add as many emojis as you want to an email. And once you're finished, click on the X in the top right hand corner of the insert box to close it. A bonus tip here is to remember that you can treat any smiley faces you add to your emails just like normal text that you type. So if I move my mouse pointer to the emojis and select them by clicking and holding my left mouse button and then dragging my mouse over the emojis, I can then make them larger by increasing the text size. If the text formatting bar isn't shown in your Compose email window, check out the Woggle guide shown above that explains how to open this. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.